Hey guys, this is Apple G with my first ever Overwatch video. I want to preface this video, however, with a little disclaimer. I'm not a pro Overwatch player, I'm not an expert, and I don't have a degree in psychology. So, you know, take it as advice from a friend. I'm currently sitting right now at Platinum rank, and I will preface every video I do with my current rank. So hopefully, as I keep doing these videos, that rank will slowly but surely climb up hopefully um, so this is going to be also the first of a series of videos that I plan on doing on how to combat toxicity I love overwatch uh, all my friends know I love overwatch and the majority of the overwatch community too I, I've met so many cool people through overwatch um, but undoubtedly I think the biggest issue I've seen in overwatch and most online team-based games is toxicity um, we all know Blizzard is trying to combat this with certain game mechanics reporting systems um, but I personally feel like one of the best ways to address it is to talk about it as a community and to help those that are struggling with it have more fun with the game because that's ultimately what it's all about it's about having fun and generally speaking toxicity stops people from having fun um, so I figured the best way to start a series of videos um, on toxicity is to first talk about what is toxicity um, and I think also that there's a secret enemy um, when it pertains to toxicity and I think that secret enemy is secretly ourselves secret secret um, but here's my personal definition of toxicity any behavior verbal or otherwise that negatively impacts the morale of your team or yourself and or yourself emphasis definitely on yourself um, now I think we've all seen what toxic behavior from other people is like and I don't really think I need to touch on what that is because I think we've all experienced it in some degree or fashion um, but I think the worst kind of toxicity is the kind that comes from ourselves and here's some examples that I've seen that might explain what I mean by that um, so one you self-doubt yourself, your abilities, or your character selection. Um, I see this all the time. People think, oh my god, I'm playing horribly as this person, or I'm doing horribly as that person, or um, all these people I'm playing with are so much better than me, and um, things like that. Basic, just self-doubt, um, a lack of confidence in your ability to play the game well. Um, two, it's the other side of the spectrum. Um, you are that person that's never to blame it's always the matchmaking system or your team is just horrible and you know the enemy team is so amazing and there's nothing you can do you can't carry this horrible team that you're on um, honestly oftentimes I think it's a bit of a mix um, of both of these things and these thoughts will often tilt us or prevent us from becoming better and learning from our mistakes our defeats things like that Worst of all, they also make the game unfun. Um, I've seen a lot of my friends stop playing because of this. Um, whether they stop playing for a brief amount of time or they literally rage quit and they don't come back to the game, which makes me really sad because I love this game and I love playing it with all my friends. Um, so I think when I continue this series, I think the first thing I'm going to try and address is how we can learn to not be toxic with ourselves. Um, a mantra that I live by is that you can't love others if you can't first love yourself and I think this applies to overwatch as well uh, let me know what you think in the video about this video in the comments below and let me know what you think about toxicity in overwatch um, and generally in gaming and you know what, what do you think of toxicity in, in general when it comes to games um, and do you experience inner toxicity and what have you done to try and overcome it yourself um, also, let me know what you think of this video format. I'm trying the whole face camera thing, uh, similar to what Riker does. Um, so let me know if you like this, or should I go back to doing videos where it's just my voice, uh, kind of similar to what Stylosa or O Nick will do in their videos. Um, I'll make sure to put links in the description uh, to those channels so you can check out their videos and let me know what you think might be uh, the best for myself. Um, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, go ahead and hit that dislike button. And just let me know in the comments what I can do better 
or you know if you're a troll that just likes to dislike videos then just let me know that you're a troll so I don't have to worry about it um, and if you want to watch future videos from me please hit that subscribe button um, so this has been Apple Jew. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember guys, life's too short to be salty. See you on the next one.